If you are getting ready to run your race, but you don't have much room to warm up, this video is for you. I'll show you how you can warm up before your race with very little space in just eight exercises so that you can get to the start line prepared and feeling race ready. Hi, it's Ryan from Unstoppable where we help you run smarter, faster and injury free no matter where you're starting. The first exercise that we're going to do is ankle and foot rolls. To do this exercise, you want to stand on one leg and gently roll your ankle in circles. Do five to ten circles in each direction and then switch legs. This exercise is great for loosening up your lower legs and improving your ankle mobility. Something that we sometimes see here though is rushing the movement. So make sure to go slow and controlled as this will help to keep those muscles fully engaged. Also, if you do hear some popping or some clicking noises, don't stress. It's just bubbles popping in your joint fluid because you're building up pressure through your movement. Now let's get those hips moving with some hip openers. To do the hip opener, lift one knee up towards your chest, then open your hip out to the side and place your foot down and repeat on the other side. This exercise targets the hips and also the glutes which will help with your balance and your stability. One thing that we sometimes see here with this exercise is losing the core engagement like this. It can sometimes be a sign that you need to focus more on strengthening your core muscles in your training but practice keeping that core tight and your shoulders as this is the kind of posture that you're going to be running your race with so it's good to practice it here. Next up we're going to do some knee lifts. So to do this exercise lift those knees high and swing your arms like you're about to run. This exercise is great for warming up your hip flexors and also your core muscles. Something that we sometimes see here is slouching. So make sure that you're focusing on standing tall like this and using those core muscles to stay nice and tall throughout this whole movement. A tip that really helps here is to imagine that somebody is pulling a piece of string from the top of your head. Now we're moving on to leg swings. To do this exercise, stand on one leg and swing the opposite leg forwards and backwards. If there is something that you can hold on to for balance, like a tree or perhaps another runner, make sure that you do this as you can end up falling over, which is something that I've done before and I fell flat on my bum. If you don't have the space for full leg swings, what you can also do is some gentle knee swings like this. Now this movement will warm up your hamstrings and also your quads, which are so important as these are two of the main muscles that are going to help you to run your fastest times. Something to focus on here is not trying to forcefully swing your legs through, especially in the first few leg swings as you could end up pulling something. Try starting with a few smaller leg swings like this before you end up doing some bigger leg swings like this. Now let's loosen up your hips with some hip circles. To do the hip circles place your hands on your hips and make big circles with your hips. This warms up your lower back and also your hips which are again crucial for running. Try not to tilt forwards or backwards like this because you can end up overstretching certain areas so focus on keeping your body straight like this to stay nice and balance throughout this whole movement. Now we're moving on to calf raises. To do this exercise you want to rock up onto your toes and then back down like this. This exercise it's great for waking up those calf muscles and also improving your ankle flexibility. Something that we do see here though when doing this exercise is dropping your heels too fast towards the ground like this. So try and keep this movement smooth and also very controlled. You get more benefit from this exercise by working nice and controlled throughout the upward and also the the downward part of this movement. If space allows, it's time to take things up a gear with some jumping jacks. If it is tight for room, just lift up onto your toes and do some gentle hops in place like this. This is going to get the blood flowing around your body and it also primes you so that you're ready to race. Something that we sometimes see here is not landing softly. This can put a lot of pressure on your knees and also your Achilles, which are already taking a lot of impacts when you're running. If this is you, keep your knees slightly bent so that you can can better absorb that impact when you're doing this exercise. Now let's twist the torso from side to side to loosen up your back and also your core muscles. So to do the torso twists, focus on keeping your core engaged and moving slowly. Think about tensing your stomach throughout this exercise as this is going to help to keep that core nice and engaged, which is so important for maintaining good running posture during your race. Something to be careful of here is twisting too fast. You don't want to pull something in your back. So like I said, take it nice and slow and controlled. Now you're warmed up and ready to go. Now we've actually put together a PDF of all of these warm-up exercises that we're talking about here. So click the first link in the description so that you can go and get that one. But if you are getting halfway through your run and you're starting to feel tired and your run form is starting to change, then you're going to want to watch the video that's appearing here now for how you can improve your run form during your run.